Hey, what's going on? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com reporting from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Alabama started their first football practice of the 2017 season and during Nick Saban's first press conference, he was quick to address Deshaun Hand's recent DUI charge. In fact, here's that clip. Uh, on the Deshaun Hand situation, you know, first of all, we have every respect for the police uh, and what they did. Uh, and and uh, so in no way is, are my comments directed at anything but total respect uh, for those people doing their job. Um, you know, Deshaun put himself in a bad situation, obviously made a mistake being where he was at the time. Um, but the fact that he didn't drive the car, all right, which is, you know, what we tell the players not to do. Um, it's not okay that he was drinking uh, with me. Um, and that's a behavioral issue that needs to be addressed, and we will address it. Um, but the fact that he didn't drive the car and wasn't driving the car, he did not put other people at risk, which to me is the most significant uh, thing uh, when you drive under the influence. But he didn't drive. But they had every right to do what they did. So what we basically did is I have two choices. I can punish the guy for uh, making a, putting himself in a bad situation, uh, but making a pretty good decision after he put himself in that situation, or we can take the situation that he put himself in, which was drinking, uh, and have him assess for that and try to help him uh, so that he can make better choices and decisions in the future. All right, so rather than worry about the punishment part of it, uh, we put him in 48-hour inpatient uh, for assessment purposes. Professional people assess what he needs to do, what we need to do with him, and that's what we will do with him. Because he put himself in that situation, we'll give him community service and uh, police ride around and some different things to help him. And if he does everything he's supposed to do, uh, he will not get he, he will not be suspended. Uh, because I think what we're doing is helping the player. Uh, and I think the fact that uh, if he had drove the car, it'd be a totally different circumstance. And even if he didn't get arrested, even if he didn't get arrested, and he put himself in that situation at 4.30 in the morning being in that condition, we would have sent him to do the same thing for his future safety and his future decision making. All right, so that the arrest part of it has nothing to do with that. We're treating these things as two different things, and um, that's all really I have you know, to say, you know, about that. We also heard from reigning SEC Offensive Player of the Year, Jalen Hurts, who enters the season as a sophomore, leading Alabama's offense under new offensive coordinator Brian Dable. Jalen talked about coming to this season, taking it one day at a time, and also gave us some insight on Brian Dable. In fact, let's run Jalen Hurts. Here's earlier today from Tuscaloosa. Well, I just think, you know, the goal is just to come out and improve every day. You improve every day, I mean, you're taking a stride up, a positive step. That's all you can ask for. That's all you want to do. Just go out there and improve as a team individually on every aspect of the game. Improve. Like all you guys say, he's so organized. I mean, can you give us an example of just, you know, how pinpoint meticulous organization is? Um, he, I mean, he just does a great job of doing his job. You know, he, he handles his business. He's, bu he's business oriented, and that carries on uh, to the offensive unit, for sure. Based on the talent and experience you guys have, how good do you think this offense can be? I mean, we we'll only be as good as you know, as good as as we work as hard as, hard as we work to be. You know, it's on us, and you know, we got to go out there and improve every day. We got to work hard because it's not gonna happen overnight. It's not gonna happen in the blink of an eye. You know, it, it's, it, nothing's given to us. We got to earn everything. Also in recruiting, Slade Bolden has picked the Crimson Tide. The three-star athlete out of the state of Louisiana is headed to Alabama. To read more on Slade Bolden, head on over to BamaInsider.com. Now is a perfect time to subscribe to BamaInsider.com. we got a special going on. Sign up for a year, get six months free. Sign up for a month, get 100 days free. The best way to access all our coverage is to head on over to BamaInsider.com and click the store that you want. we got great coverage on the team side and recruiting side. Give us a chance. Give us an opportunity to provide you with Alabama football coverage for the 2017 season. Reporting from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, my name is Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com.